I just want to be released from the hole that loaded tees have on me. It's really sad. They're like crack, and I'm the crackhead. Open the moment comes, you say. Good morning, and welcome to the Curly Hair Teacher. Today is Monday, July 26th. And I thought that it would be a good idea to take you guys with me because I have a few teacher-like things to do this week. So I think I'm going to make it a week in the life of a teacher. So I am eating breakfast this morning. <laughs> it is currently 8.52. And I have a curriculum meeting at 1, I think. I should probably double check on that. But I think it's at 1 o'clock. Even though it is July 26 and I am technically still on summer, they pulled a curriculum meeting out of out of a hat. That's what we'll say. They pulled a curriculum meeting out of a hat. And so, um, yes, that's what we have to do today if you teach reading or ELA. And I teach fifth grade ELA. So um, I'm going to attend that only because we get paid extra to attend. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't have anything else to do today. I was trying to go into my building today, um, but I texted my principal on Friday and she said that she had to get with the custodians and see if it'll be cool. So I'm not going to go today because I'm not going to pack up all that stuff and plus I kind of want to do a classroom haul with that. I am going to finish eating breakfast and then I am going to go get my life together because I'm definitely not going looking like this. I'll see you guys when I'm on the way. I just want to be released from the hole that loaded tees have on me. It's really sad. They're like crack and I'm the crackhead. It is 12:19. Um I'm super early, which I'm kind of glad that I am cuz parking is atrocious here. Um there's not very many parking spots when they have like big gatherings like this because it's not just my school who's doing this curriculum training it's uh every school in our district that teaches or i should say every teacher who teaches ela in our district or reading in our district is going to be at this um meeting and i was telling you guys that i didn't know if it was at one o'clock it is and when i checked it's actually third fourth and fifth grade all in one meeting which means parking is going to be horrible somebody was calling me i'm going to chill in the car for a little bit and then i'm going to go in early because i want to use my planner and start planning out my week um so that i don't forget anything because i have a lot going on this week and then just kind of get in there early to get a good seat because it's going to be quite a few people. Not going to vlog in there because it is a curriculum meeting. Our superintendent is supposed to be there um, from what I read in the email. So I'm not going to bring my camera in to... No, I'm not going to do that. So I'll just let you guys know how it was when I get out. So I am officially out of the meeting. I am out of Target. I got some really cool things that I'm going to put in the classroom hall. I am currently on my way to go and get something to eat because I am starving. The time is now 3.58. Uh, I hope the air isn't too loud. It's, it's Texas. It's hot. I will be having the air on full blast every chance that I get. But um, basically, the curriculum meeting was over HMH. Um, I don't know what um, state you guys are in or what grade levels y'all teach but I am in the state of Texas and I teach fifth grade ELA and we use the curriculum HMH. My principal was actually in the meeting but she didn't mention anything about when we'll be able to go to the building to start on our classrooms. Work for us officially starts next Monday which is August 2nd um, but I need to go into the building before that because my classroom, I'm changing the whole theme of the classroom. I'm changing everything in my room. So I need a head start. What is going on, y'all? We are coming to a complete stop. It must be a wreck or something. So I'm going to go before I drive into the back of someone because it's, it's ridiculous. But um, I will see you guys later. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am starting my morning a little earlier than I normally would. 
because I have quite a few things to do today. Um, it is Wednesday, July 28th, and it is 6.21 a.m. Um, so I have to go get my nails done today, but I also have to go to my school. They're finally let us, letting us in the classroom today. So I'm going to go there and um, get some things done. But I also am up early because I need to do homework. Um, it is Wednesday, and I normally have my homework done by, like, Tuesday. But they've been kind of slow on the grading this um, um, five-week window. So, uh-oh, focus. Um, I can kind of wait and see what my grades are so I can know how to proceed from there. Um, but I'm definitely going to do that today. So I'm on the way to go get breakfast. And then I am on the way to the nail shop. And then after the nail shop, I'm going to be on the way to my school. I just left the nail shop, um, and I am in love with my nails. A uh, like, different lady did them because my normal nail tech wasn't there. She was sick. So I think I might be with this new nail tech now because I'm in love with my nails. Um, the time now is 1134. I just pulled up to the school. Um, I am about to take you in there and show you my room, what it looks like before. Okay, so this is the room, and I'm talking low because there's nobody on the hall but me and another teacher, so that's the big orange wall that I'm covering, and you can see it's pretty tall, so yeah. So I need to take down all of that up there, all of that needs to come down, all of that needs to come down. I might leave that. All of that needs to come down. And all of that above it needs to come down. But the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of move some things around. So let's do that first. All right, I'm finishing up in my classroom. Um, I was here a good two hours and 30 minutes. Right now, I'm just laminating some papers. After this, I have to... go to Walmart because there are some things that I'm going to need for tomorrow that I don't have and I don't have access to my closets. They are locked. I locked them this summer because they were doing summer school here and I didn't want anybody going into my classroom and going into my thing. Yeah, I went to go check earlier and the secretary isn't here to give me my key to open my closet or to open my desk drawers. So there are things that I cannot get. With that being said, I have to go to Walmart because there are things I need in order to start this wall that I don't have, like a stapler. So I'm just going to finish this up, then I'm going to head to Walmart, and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning. Today is Thursday, July 29th. Um, I am currently on my way to get breakfast first, and then... Um, Heading to the school so I can get a little done before I head to Ikea. My goal is to leave the school by at least um, 12 to head to Ikea. Um, I already have a list of what I need from Ikea. So that be, should be like an in and out situation. So I will talk to you guys whenever I get to the school. Maybe because I'm also recording my classroom setup video, so it just depends. It kind of just depends, y'all. So we'll see. All right, guys, I am in my classroom. I just finished setting up. Um, I just finished day one and day two of the classroom setup video. <sighs> that wall was stressful. The portion of it is still a little bit crooked, but it is what it is at this point. Um, I still have to go to IKEA. I haven't left yet. The time is my phone is across the hall. The time is 12:44. Um, it's that's not really a bad time. I still can leave and get back home at a decent hour. But I do need to stop and get a um, memory card because this one is running out of space. Anyways, okay. I will see you guys at IKEA.
good morning today is july 30th the time is i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not sure where my phone is but it's about 8 30 ish um i am about to head to the school um i need to stop and get breakfast first and i also need to go to hobby lobby if you're not in an area that has a hobby lobby hobby lobby is a craft store um i need to get some white border and some glitter car stock but before i do all of that i told you guys that i would show you what i got from ikea so that is what i'm about to do now i got four of these girly um pillow covers in the 20 by 20 size i already had the pillows for them this is going to go in the reading um corner they were 3.99 each i think i also got four of these trofast drawers I also found this rug for their reading center for $9.99. I got four of these pencil holders for $0.79 cents each. I got two white stools. I don't know why I couldn't think of what the name of it is. I got two white stools and I got one black stool. The other black one I already had and the other white one is in the car. I got these um fleet i guess is what they're called you get five of these they're magazine holders i think that's what you call them um and it was like for a dollar 99 i also got two drona boxes um in the color black i have a purple and white drona box um in my classroom already but with the change of the theme i had to get something darker so i went ahead and got two of these and they were 3.99 a piece and that is all that I got. I will see you guys later. So I just got to the school. Um, Hobby Lobby did not have white border and that's what I really needed, but that's okay. I'll use the border that I have. Um, I did find everything else that I needed and some things that I didn't know I needed, but got anyways. Uh, the card stock that I purchased is actually going to be um, the card stock that I use for the Cricut. I'm gonna laminate it today. I also got those read letters, which I'm gonna spray paint black and they're gonna go on top of my bookshelf. And then, uh, yeah, so I just got to the school. Somebody on my team is here today. So I'm going to record as much as I can, but I'm really not a fan of talking to the camera when other people are around. I think it's kind of weird, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm about to bring all this crap in and then I'll see you guys when I get in. I have finished for the day. Um, I was able to accomplish a lot. I'm not going to show you. Make sure you watch the classroom setup video to see how far I've gotten. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude the vlog here. Um, tomorrow I have a graduation party to go to and I probably won't vlog for that. I probably won't vlog at all tomorrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one.